Greetings friends, my name is John Gabriel and this is the new Calculus channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about a few topics that were inspired by an email sent to me by one of my subscribers. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, the email starts like this. There's the first paragraph which says, in the mainstream, there exists a lot of confusion on very basic concepts. Well, that goes without say. Not one textbook does a good job defining these concepts adequately, and every academic thinks of these in his own way. And of course, my response to that is that it's completely correct. And um, th this is a fact, so I don't actually have to uh, try to prove it, but you can pick up pick you can pick up any mathematics textbook you like, and you'll see that they all have different opinions. And also, um, however, he says most just dogmatically accept them without thinking. Yes, they, that's their modus operandi. They do a lot of things without thinking and without paying attention to detail. He says, in my opinion, three of these concepts are functions, variables, and graphs. And he, then he asks, what would be the conceptually correct way of defining a function? And is it simply a relationship between two numbers? So, of course, a function is fundamentally, this is my response, a function is fundamentally an algorithm that has a set of inputs and possibly one or more outputs. So, for example, the Euclidean algorithm has uh, two inputs one output and possibly more than one iteration. So uh, when dealing with something like y is equal to x squared, is it wrong to say that x and y are variables? And my response is absolutely it's wrong to say that y and x are variables because they haven't changed in past perpetuity and they're not going to change in the future either. And then he makes uh, a statement here which I couldn't have worded better myself but he says I do not see I do not see what varies every constant value of x renders a constant value of y there is no variation or change sure when one compares a certain x or y to another x or y there could be a difference absolutely and as expected there would be a difference because uh, a lot of functions are one to one or one to many or many to one. So there are going to be differences between the variables, not the variables. Listen to me, even I've been preconditioned to say variable. There will be differences. So however, to call them variables merely based on this is a great conceptual error. Those are my sentiments exactly. So um, what he's saying then again here in this uh, question is what is the correct way of thinking about constants and variables well and here's my response i say that constants and variables are are symbolic magnitudes or rational numbers okay so and by the way when i say magnitude it could also be an incommensurable magnitude or or uh, or a rational number so it doesn't really matter so when you write x it's only symbolic Right, as I've shown you in the past, if you had to write uh, pi times x uh, is equal to, let's say, y, and then, or pi times y, then you still have x is equal to y because you can divide by pi in both cases and you're left on either side with what you had originally, y and x. So, in which case, it just goes to, to show to you that y and x are really symbolic, okay? In other words, they represent certain numbers, but they're not changing at any point in time. Okay, so this is an interesting little uh, email I received from him, and I wanted to share it with you just to show you uh, how well-defined concepts and proper thinking can lead you to more knowledge and to a far deeper understanding than your moronic mathematics lecturers can. And with that, I end this video. Till next time, this is a new calculus channel, and I'm John Gabriel. Goodbye.